Ted Jank and Oxygen Financial in studios is each and every Tuesday here. It's Rock 100.5. Jason Bailey there, Southside Steve, Tim Andrews, Brandy, uh, and Nate, our digi dude, uh, some new scratchers. See, Ted brings us scratchers in when he visits. And today he brought us some new pumpkin scratchers, which being a big pumpkin fan, I thought I'd crush. I got one, a little spooky ghost, which got me double the amount of a dollar. So I'm up $2 in a ticket. Great ROI. Already making us money, Ted. Thank you. Isn't that when it's overkill, when the pumpkin's now on the scratcher? That's a pumpkin total overkill. Oh, no. it's They got falcon scratchers. They got wrestler scratchers. Harley Davidson scratchers. One of these days, when uh, ever we figure out the hell this uh, show's going to be called, we can a, a team up with Georgia Lottery. Oh, they would totally put the name of our show on a scratcher. And have a rock 100.5 fill-in-blank show name scratcher. <gasps> It'd be... Huge. Like that popular. would bring tears to my gambling eyes. Oh my God! I Can you imagine a Woodrow? <laughs> oh, <laughs> is your spouse financially cheating on you? That's the topic for this morning, Ted Jenkins with Auction Financial. What does that mean? Well, I think this is something you know when people and they get married or they're in relationships. Obviously, infidelity is a big issue. But one of the things that we see more and more amongst couples is financial infidelity. Not just regular infidelity, right? Financial infidelity, which is a lot of spouses today cheat each other on their money and they won't talk about it. That's those that share a bank account. Oh, no, no. In many cases of financial infidelity, they don't share a bank account. They might share a joint bank account, but there are bank accounts that one of the other spouse or partner doesn't know about. And oh. this causes the friction because they start wondering, Jason, do you have some uh, side stash going? Is there some money that you have that I don't know about? Oh, every couple should have a side stash. Really? Because I oh, know. Oh, absolutely. Every good thing comes to an end. I mean, it's just... It's oh, come on with it's, that. It's scientifically, <laughs> it's scientifically proven every good thing comes to an end. Life is great. What happens? You die. So there you go. I mean, my point has been proven right there. So you should always have rainy day money for when that relationship ends because you're going to need money to stay either at a hotel or get yourself an apartment. You're going to need a couch, TV, whatever. So you're advocating this. Oh, absolutely, 110%. <laughs> I, you, you, you are messed up. That is the, really the last thing I thought you'd say. No, I'm a realist. You guys live in fantasy worlds. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but go ahead, continue. Well, I, I was trying to give some tips to talk about this. Because How to catch them cheating? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, right. or at, least, at least try to get it on your radar because, you know, in many families, you know, again, besides sex, you know, money is one of the most difficult things to talk about. Biggest two issues why people uh, break up or get divorced. Right? That's right. And so this issue of financial fidelity, I'm seeing more and more as couples are getting married later in life, as you're having divorces and remarriages, there becomes this question of do we trust each other? Is this right? with or without a prenup? Well, even if you have a prenup, you can have a prenup on some money, but still there's going to be money that you have together as yeah, a couple, right, and yeah. they become the issues of trust. So gotcha. one of my tips in here that you may want to do along the way, because everyone's thinking about money, Jason, like where's all the money hidden? Often what I see happen is that there's credit cards that spouses don't tell each other or partners don't tell each other about, then yeah. all of a sudden, boom, one day you come home and your partner says, yeah, I've got $20,000 of credit card debt. That's when she's got to go. Oh, you just, that that's a kick out? Oh, or you find a, you know, you find a, a foster home or something for them. <laughs> oh, you know, I don't know where you're going or what, what's going to happen with these kids. But, I just bought um, you a brand new coach backpack. You can put your stuff in that. <laughs> yeah, enjoy enjoy your hike. No, see, it's it's weird, too. I think you're right about the age and with anybody. If, if your spouse isn't working, you kind of know where the money's at. So I think yeah. when somebody's working, then they have the ability to get credit cards on you. He's so cute, isn't he? Well, let me right? be, Steve, right? let me paint a scenario. You know, we, I've always had an open relationship about my money, which is why I think my marriage works, right? In part, but the the thing is that a lot of people, if you have a spouse that was working and now they're staying at home, and all of a sudden they don't have power control over the money, so now they feel bad because they have to ask their spouse every time, "Can I have a dollar or two to buy something?" So they can still end up getting themselves their own credit card. And then one day you wake, home, you know, walk home, and they've got ten thousand dollars of credit card debt, and that's when one spouse absolutely flips. Oh, on then the she's got to check the mail or whatever, or not have anything mailed to the house. You got to do it online. You know, when mail comes to the house. You're hundred percent certain. I mean, I check it. I'm the one who gets it. P O box. <laughs> And everything's electronic wow. now. You don't even need it. Actually, they, they there's benefits for credit cards and banks and stuff for you not to get stuff sent to you in the mail. Because it costs them money. They'll yeah. put it into yeah. an email account. 
But you don't, you know. I mean, my advice is that, you know, (laughs) at least once a year, you want to be checking either Credit Karma or annual credit report and just get a sense about what kind of activity is going on. Because I think most spouses think they know what credit cards each other has, but I'll guarantee you more often than not, you don't. Steve, you might want to check Google and see if I am not Amanda Rickman at gmail.com is available. (laughs) 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 I'd be like, what? Uh, It would blow my mind. She knows everything. I've told her she knows it all. I have nothing hidden. I'm totally honest. Well, that's why it's working. Yeah, that's why she's got a leg up on you because she's smarter than you. So she knows that if she gets got I agree all, with that. she's got all your secrets. You just don't know all of hers. I know that she has money in, in an account, but like her father had it, and then she gave it to her. But we haven't invested that in Oxygen Financial yet. And I'm like, hey, what's what's the holdup? All my money's in. <laughs> Can we not get yours in? Mm-hmm. If mine's in play. All right, Ted Jank at Oxygen Financial. Now you're starting to piss me off. <laughs> Is your spouse financially cheating on you outside yeah. of the credit cards? What okay, else? Okay, big time, unusual levels of cash, right? If you're seeing, you know, I'm not saying... If you you see a few, she's hundred. stripping. Well, that but that may be on the side. You know, we're doing something else. As long as she didn't do VIP room, I've never been opposed to that. Yeah. So the big big amounts of cash, what under the mattress or something? Well, just in general, you know, when you're out and about, if everything starts getting paid in cash, or you're seeing lots of wads of a hundred dollar bills. There are some people that just carry cash in general, but cash is an easy way to hide money from your spouse. You know, people will take ATM withdrawals and they've got that cash, and that you know, look, that may be a sign that they've got other issues and how they spend money and where they're spending money, and it's just it's something to keep an eye on. And might I add to that? That's a good point, Ted. But might I add to that? Uh, how, uh, the first red flag is when you start getting gifts, nice gifts, often. See, what women do is if they have one of these sneaky Super Mario special, special board kind of accounts, right? <laughs> what they do is they buy you gifts. And when you get the gifts, you're not going to question where the money came from. You're just going to get the gifts. You're just happy? And you're just happy because gifts mean happiness. Prizes mean happiness. You're like, you love me so much. I can't believe you bought me a green egg. Not knowing <laughs> that at night she goes by Mercedes, strips, and has a special account that came in <laughs> islands. <laughs> And you never question why she's got transparent stilettos in the closet. I thought those were for us. I thought you were going to wear those. When are you ever going to wear those, honey? So that's how that works. Yeah. But that, I mean, it's certainly something to keep an eye on. Now, I will always tell you that one thing that to, you can do every year, and some spouses never talk about this, is the tax return. Because people lie, but the tax returns never lie. So if you're wondering where the accounts are, if you're following that tax return, it's got to be underneath some tax ID. And not everything goes on the tax return, but take a look at it once a year because because there are some spouses and partners that one person files it, the other person just signs it, and that's it. Never look at the paperwork at all. Yeah, that's why you should always, guys should always be in charge of the finance. Well, not you, but most guys should be always be in charge of the finances. Actually, what the crazy thing is, it Actually, is. Actually, women are usually in charge of the finances. Yeah, the not experience. the Bailey household. <laughs> not, not in the Rickman household either. It's all, it's all me. <laughs> right. No, it is. Sure? It no. is. I mean, as far as I know, it is. No, it's, it's a, I'm it's, signing. It's a tag team of Amanda and Ted. <laughs> And yeah, I'm just participating. Mr. Checkbook. <laughs> it is, it is, man. You just changed all the accounts right here. You thought you were signing them over, but... I have no idea. <laughs> if Ted had to sign something, I'm like, oh, I have power of attorney. You know, something. when things get serious in the room at Oxygen Financial, when we're looking at our future and what we need to do, it is an Amanda and Ted conversation. I'm sorry And I'm usually that. hollering out at his receptionist, what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> what you doing? You want to have some ice cream? All right, so you got uh, the sneaky credit cards. You yep. got the sneaky bank accounts. Is your spouse financially cheating on you? Ted Jank and Oxygen Financial. Anything else? Yeah, well, one of the big ones that I've seen over the last 20 years is that one spouse or partner will constantly dodge financial conversations. So you get into this conversation and say, you know, hey, I noticed that, you know, you picked up a new watch or I saw you got some new clothes in the closet and you're constantly seeing somebody get defensive around those conversations or just an an awkward conversation. If that happens again and again, there's clearly something that's going on in there. Or what you may see at home, I call it the Amazon package delivery, is that you just know Notice packages keep on showing up at the door. Oh my There's God! A new that brown box at my house. The, well, that money's going away somewhere. That's you, though. You oh, are, it is. That is my stuff. You yeah. order all <laughs> kinds of crap. You buy off Craigslist. You buy. Gra- He'll have some shipped from a garage sale in another county. He. That's him. Uh huh. <laughs> that's him. Sure is. Well, see this now. Rach is getting intel today. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, she knows. She's shopping with me. Does she keep uh, up with all that? Because you were late night shopping last night, even at Kohl's. 
I was there at 8.30. I bought an awesome Santa Claus Yoda hat. <laughs> I saw him wearing it, and I'm like, who's the Santa Claus thug? I had to And I got 30% Twitter. off. They took both of my 15% off coupons. How much was a Santa Claus Yoda $14. hat? $14.99. Oh, my God. I had to go up there to get a yoga mat because Ariel's doing DDP yoga with us. So she wants, so it was like 8.30. We got so a pulse. getting her a mat, and you buy a Yoda hat. Yeah. <laughs> for, for Christmas. It's like that odd shopping venture. <laughs> it's like, why am I here? <laughs> All right. Anything else real quick, Ted? Well, my last one in here is if you just never discuss money altogether. Couples many, many years ago never talked about money, and one person was totally in the dark. And if you haven't had a conversation in a while, are you sure you know where the money is at? Because sometimes it may be in investments or other things that you would have never put your money into. And uh, you find out five years later, and believe me, Jason, I've seen that many times in, in a family. So these are just things to be watch out for because this financial infidelity is getting bigger. I mean, I've, the last 20 years, I've just seen it grown exponentially. If so people meet with you, can you sense who it is? Oh, I'm pretty, I'm pretty good at that uh, forensic detective work. Okay, so I, good. I could, I could, I could tell right. you. How can people find you there, Ted Jenkins? Yeah, well, if you want to learn about smart money moves, go to oxygenfinancial.net. If you think your spouse may be financially cheating on you, sign up for a free consultation, and we'll uh, oh, I'll tell you what the deal is. You need to hire a private detective on staff. I mean, really get into it. That's, a, that's a, probably an untouched market just to go after financial. We got Allison in her office. She does that part-time. Dude, that'd be a great gig. Maybe this radio thing doesn't work out for me. That hot reception is yours is a private investigator? <laughs> no, 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 she's not. I okay. love spying on people and, and tattletailing. That'd be a great job. Oh, it'd be fantastic. The Oxygen Financial van is outside your house. Be careful you post on Facebook. Ted, Ted's inside with a wife, Peter, watching. Despite the rain, the last couple days, Tomorrow World took off over 100